Hello and welcome to the update for this week. I hope this is finding you well and safe and connected. It's a time, Holy Week is a time where we really have to focus on things like connection. Um, a couple updates for you. Um, instead of a Good Friday service, there's an interactive piece that's been written by Reverend Nikki Watkin on our website. It's from the Knox Center, something that she's done for Good Friday. Uh, she's the pastor of Kohi down the road, and so it's such a wonderful thing to um, get out of the house, get off of watching TV or the computer, and go and take a walk. It's kind of a Stations of the Cross walk, so you can make a little paper cross, take it with you. Um, you can have it on your phone, or you can print it out. And you can do the Stations of the Cross as you walk around your neighborhood. It's something to contemplatively think about and do with our bodies uh, for Good Friday, which I think is a great change of pace. On Sunday, we're going to have our usual service on Sunday at Somerville.live. And so you can tune in at 10 a.m. to find that video there. Uh, it's going to include sermon, hopefully some songs. We'll see if um, everything works out. And um, here's an idea that I've been having. You know, so many people have been celebrating things like anniversaries and birthdays. I know some people who've actually lost folk in their life um, to death, to the virus and to other diseases, and they can't celebrate um, their life. They can't do memorial services. They can't go to funerals. And so um, one of the things I've been thinking of is wouldn't it be great once this lockdown is over, once life gets back to semi-normal um, and we're able to meet together again, why don't we just do all of these celebrations over again? I think we've all earned a pass. Um, to be able to celebrate our birthdays down the road and to celebrate um, anything that's significant that's happened during this lockdown period because of this virus. I think we really should think about doing them over. I know that's something that we can do with Easter and Palm Sunday and Good Friday for that matter. Um, wouldn't it be wonderful to kind of do that in the middle of winter or something, something that we have typically don't get an, a chance to do. So that's something I've been thinking about. Let me know what you think about that. But until then, look at the website, our website, summerville.org.nz. There's going to be coloring pages for the kids for Easter, um, activities, word searches. Debbie Watkins put those together, so thanks, Debbie, for that. Uh, we also are going to have um, some uh, orders of service to download and some different things for you on our website. Trying to make our website our one-stop shop. Uh, still working on getting different videos and things posted on there, but for now, a lot of links on the website. So if you're wanting to know what's happening with the Somerville community, what's happening with the church, please go ahead and, um, and look at the website. Uh, thanks again. I hope you're having a good week. I hope you're taking this time to breathe deep, uh, to get some things done that you hope maybe you've put off for a while, but also to think deeply about um, who God is and what this week invites us to contemplate and to meditate on. Um, both the, the sacrifice on the cross by Jesus, but also the resurrection um, of Jesus. And so um, we live um, in a resurrection spirit, and that's what we come to celebrate on Sunday. And it's interesting that those things coincide with our lockdown, because um, I imagine at the very first Easter, there was a lot of fear and trepidation, and we know that the disciples were locked themselves into a room. And so we're not far off from that. But uh, Sunday's around the corner. Easter is around the corner, um, and it's very close to us. And so let's celebrate it as we should um, with everything we have and the best way we know how. Let's make extra phone calls. Let's reach out to people that we perhaps haven't reached out to in a long time. Let's take Easter seriously this year. Um, there's a reason, I think, behind it all why we're uh, the linkages between Easter and our quarantine. So Hope you're calling each other and taking care of each other. I've heard such great stories about people just phoning each other and uh, looking after one another. So thanks for that. And we'll see each other on Sunday. Uh, thanks again and see you soon.